G'day and welcome back to our Dutch Mandate campaign in EU4, where the whole campaign's just going backwards, really. Um, lost Gelden, lost Utrecht, lost Breda, lost Antwerp, lost Brabant, lost all the money and all of the uh, force limit we had because of that. All because France gave us a bit of uh, Burgundian land when we are already capped on uh, aggressive expansion. So, well done, France. And look at that, we're not ready for getting attacked. Damn it. Just saw him coming in in time. At least it's next month, so we'll have a bit of a chance to escape. Um, can we pull out for a day off? Um, I don't go anywhere else. We can get to Utrecht. So I guess we'll uh, run as far away through them as we can. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to sit in the farmlands? Let's sit in the woods of Jaure. And we're not going to go in and help them. Alright, absent merchant in the English Channel. Um, sure. He's got most of his morale back. Um, do kind of want to get him out of there, though. Oh, now we're locked. Damn it. Alright, and, uh, made our guy a dude, so he's a 4-4. Put a morale bonus over them, at least. And can we kill them in Osnabrück or somewhere? Where are they going to try to run? Back up that way. He's going some weird way back up to Denmark. Don't know how he even got down here, because Sweden's blockading that. Um, must be retaking. Sweden's failing over there. So, yes, we will head back to the capital for a bit. Although, I think I just saw him going somewhere else. No, he is heading back. Um, so let's try and capture him before he gets too far. Oh, nearly. Um, well, we'll take this. And we kept on Diplo. Right, well, we need mercantilism, clearly. Um, Tech would be a good idea first, though. Now with the brig and the better cannons and etc. So, cannons. Large cast iron. Alright. And yeah, our money situation is ridiculous. We're going to have to get rid of our mercs at some point. Now, this is Grasslands, so we won't take too much of a hit from him. He's just going around us. Do we want to uh, pull out? I think we might. Food shortage there. Let's uh, leave just these guys behind. Might be able to get him in Dithmarschen. Nope. Probably get him in Stad. Well, we'll get him over here. And hopefully Sweden keeps blockading them. Hello, buddy. Let's try this again. Got the advantage of a pole. Alright, Brandenburg, Nassau, all good. Um, these guys will head back up this way. It's obviously where he's going to be going. Brandenburg is there. Got some Danes. Alright, crush them. Goal oriented gives us uh, faster movement. Alright, rejoin. And he's our only guy with the siege at the moment as well. Defeat in the Danish reconquest of Holland. Sweden will cede Kalmar, Chihorad and Holland to Denmark. Yep. Fine. Didn't want to wait for us to you know, take out some of his enemies' main territory. And he had the blockade there, so we could have gone and full annex, or full uh, sieged him. Right, Burgundy has slandered our merchants. That sucks. That's going to cause... Because I was looking at this during the break. Uh, where are we? Netherlands. Minus 10% for merchants slandered. I guess it's not a huge amount. That's why we're building up in England to slander their merchants. Lubeck declared von Brandenburg. Yep. Alright, and... Did we not take admin tech? We we're still one behind. Pretty sure I just clicked on that, didn't I? Okay. Well, siege ability is going to be coming. 
Um, in the meantime, we've got no real issues in Europe and we're at peace for now. So what I'd like to do is go and expand. Oh, crap, I can't even get through there anymore because of Antwerp. All right, so from Holland, I'd like to go and expand down into the New World at least a little bit. So we're going to pick on Tapuya. And we're just going to go do a no CB war. Cause a stability drop. But uh, we'll be able to buy one back with them soon. Upset for those with an interest in Tapuya. So Cologne, Alsace, Burgundy only drops by one. Um, and it's December now. Let's just wait till January. So Burgundy will actually drop off that. Because it's one war exhaustion. How are we? Yeah, we're fine. This is our truce with Burgundy ended, really. Alright, who are they allied with? Sweden, Provence, Trier, the Pope, and Luxembourg. Well, we can call France in, and they're part of the Empire. Right, you know, there's a reason we weren't looking at that. Tapuya. You know, this if if the Netherlands weren't forced out of the Empire, we would have been fine. So, Tapuya, we're going to go for it. Confirm that. Stability drop, yes. Fine. We are still looking good. And we can only come over three men at a time. But we want to actually get fleet basing down here if we can. That's a long way off. Um, come back from Brabant. Alright, ask for fleet basing. They say yes. We wait a day. And then these guys, hopefully, won't take too long to get down here. Um, no, because we still don't have normal access. So we'll wait a month. We'll wait more than a month because it takes too long for us to actually get back. Right, we're not going to need to keep improving with them, but we'll keep him there anyway. Alright, military access please. Thank you. Army then. Oh, Castile's getting hurt by Morocco. Okay. Um, to the Rio Grande. Castile cedes Mercia Gibraltar to the Canaries and Cadiz to Morocco. Etc, etc. Fine. So Morocco own this. I wonder why they took Mercia, not something else. Aragon lost land? No. Alright, so we're at war with Tapuya, who has 5k. We'll probably do this with 3,000 men, but we'll uh, wait for a few more to arrive. And yes, we can't fabricate any other claims on England, just Kent. We can justify a trade conflict. If it was a trade conflict, I can't remember what the trade conflict CB lets you do. I don't think you're allowed to take any land, are you? No. Got the truce anyway. Um, yeah, it's fine. Trade dispute and trade conflict. What's the difference? Trade conflict. 100, 100, 100. You just have to blockade them. Superiority, you get prestige, and things are cheaper. Reparations, concession. Of, why would you want concession of defeat? And transfer half trade power. Yeah, kind of useless. Alright, recall from Brazil. And we're about to start taking on debt. And that land was so important to us. Alright, where are we going? We've only got the first guys in. But, uh, let's bring this guy over before we forget. Alright, diplomatic move. Gain... Diplo, France's opinion should be maxed out already anyway. And Poland have their golden age. Alright, France is capped, yes. Brandenburg. Hey, we're almost in a position that we can uh, deal with Brandenburg. Neighbouring heretic. Well, neighbouring by... Co oh no. Actually, they are neighbouring now. Do what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more boat trips. Cologne has declared on Brandenburg. Yes, everybody pile on. Brandenburg knows how we feel. Uh, 
All right, hopefully we'll be able to join a coalition against Cologne. I'd love to head in there and make him break apart. All right, decline in the merchants. The burghers lose influence. We can demand 100 first. We're doing with the clergy. Seek their support. Um, we do need to grant monopoly charters. All right, demand. Send an emissary. Demand 100 admin. 10 years until we can do nobility. Okay. Brandenburg seeds Rupon and Lundberg to Lübeck. All good. Let's get this guy started down there. Three and three should be able to do a lot of damage, right? Well, we got the other three in as well. All right, get them down to reinforce. If they have Els van Palant. 10th of August, if we reset him. 14th of August. Yeah. And yeah, rolled well at the end there. Brandenburg sees Brunswick to Würzburg. Let's go have a look at how much he's losing here. Well, Lübeck took a bit. Brandenburg is almost one province minor. It's worth 50. He's got something else. He's still got Potsdam. Oh, he's got these over here. All right, they're occupied by Saxe Lauenberg, who should be able to reach around to uh, do them. Cologne can't take that. Brandenburg gives ducats. Right, he didn't want to take it. Which means Cologne will come in and grab these ones. He's moved in already. All right, and we're suffering high attrition. Let's see, they'll have to be these three guys. Um, well, they're not, and they shouldn't be. Takes attrition in the open sea. Well, let's have a look while he's transporting three units. 6% on the way past. Alright, choose the Sweden and Savoy. Hmm. Alright, well, we've already won the war. So, let's come in here. Super peace. Cannot make it a core. Seriously, we should be able to core that far. Just off. Um, didn't we have colonial range? Let's see if this will work. We can't afford it, but um, sure. It's within our colonial range now. So, super peace. Now we can get it. Nice. Alright, we'll take his money. And that's all we're allowed to do. So, the War of Dutch Aggression. Hell yeah. Um, which also means these guys are going to go park down here to repair. And we want to start fabricating on everybody else nearby. It's about Spinoak there. That was two guys before. He must have uh, decided he didn't want to keep wandering around. Okay, well that's fine. We do both them in one war. And convert to Catholic first. Mm, no, let's core it first. Alright, and we still had quite an army left up here. All good. So, still on 26. Uh, that's still costing us a bit. We can stop paying the army for a while. Brandenburg seeds Hoya to Cologne. So, Cologne. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He, oh, I don't know. He's got more land than we've ever had, and he's being more aggressive about taking it. But no, we'll get the coalition of the entire Central Europe. Alright, Diplotech. Massively ahead of time. Which means we're going to keep promoting mercantilism. Alright, we don't get this until 14, which is, yeah, about 1570. To Puy and Separatist. Didn't we kill all of them? God damn it. Better win that. 
Oh, lucky. Didn't want to get kicked out of there by them. Alright, and... Stop paying him again. Alright, Casile died. Get the royal marriage. Keep our people happy. You know, to trust tomorrow, a succession war between France and England. Well, if he comes under France, it would save us a relationship slot. Alright, Brandenburg cedes Potsdam and Sternberg to Pomerania. Fine. Uh, we always, always do the... Uh, what do you call it? The thing I just clicked on. The blockade? No. Alright, uh, what was it for? Brandenburg. Are you a one province miner now? Yes, he is. Now how much he's gotten hurt just in that last little war. He was this size before, now he's an OPM. Lutzberg took some, Bohemia took some, Pomerania took a lot, Lubeck took some, and what, Cologne took some. And Brunswick now exists again. We can nearly get stability. Yeah, now I can get the alliance with Brandenburg. Totally worth it. Alright, who else is gone? Bohemia, Bavaria. Okay. Okay, and yeah. Trade crisis. Trade efficiency down. We'll lose some Diplo. Yep. Now we don't really need the rest of the army to come down here to help with Potiguara. Alright, the offensive ideas. We've seven years ahead. So, yes, siege ability. These guys are still under the 65 year old. Master Boater. And this is taking a long time. Counter espionage. Well, that's annoying. Don't want to take another stability hit. Hmm. Alright. I'm just going to have to sit and wait. And Provence. Seriously, the weird people taking. Uh, Expansion in this one. Tamond occupied by Arawak. Uh, Arawak, like, way up there somewhere. What we probably should have done was take Manhattan instead. Hmm, maybe later. Alright, um, why are we getting... From control cardinals and base value. Yeah, we need to get the papal state to like us. It would make more sense. So, let's improve relations. <laughs> no opinion at all. Allied to rival. The same religion. It's coming up decently fast. At 4.02. Rounds up to 5. Alright, still want to go to war with England. When were they? 1570. And the Evangelical Union. Right. Denmark joined the Protestants. Let's just get rid of all these and then read it straight off here. Uh, Aragon. Savoy. France joined... France joined the Protestant side. That sucks. I don't think it'll ever actually trigger. We don't want to be against France and Castile. And Poland. That is crap, but yeah, it makes sense. Alright, Bohemia, I don't think would be stupid enough to start that. A lot of people joining the Protestant League, there's not actually that much Protestantism. I mean, it's these guys have joined the Protestant League. And uh, Poland. A little weird. Alright, um. I mean, we could join the Protestant League. We're only allied to Portugal on this side. Sweden's joined Catholic League. Alright, maybe we can repay the loan. Yeah, I think we'll just stay out of the leagues for this one. Alright, improvements in trade. Um, inflation for Diplo, yes. Our inflation's gone again. 
Truce with Provence is over. He was allied to Burgundy and Aachen. Burgundy is allied to Sweden and everyone else. Annoying. Um, we'll just keep waiting for a aggressive expansion to tick down with the other guys, though. And too soon. Right, go up to 40. Yeah, positive on the cash flow, only while we're not paying for the army. And we're not going to do this. Right, what's our mission? That was to finish off. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Let's take over the rest of this stuff. We've lost it rather than gaining it. And still wouldn't accept vassalization? No. Hang on. Oh no, the core finished. As you say, what was uh, converted up here? Well, he's being annoying, converting our lands. But, Portiguara. We're all good to fabricate the claim. Porto Seguro. Stop doing the spinal work. And declare the war today. Not today. We need to pay the army. Modified by nationalistic enthusiasm. Oh, Castile, seriously. Yeah, let's go back to war with uh, Austria. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Don't want to bring our entire army down here, but they're going to be destroyed up there when we're not looking at them. What are we up against here? It's a kill Castilian reconquest, so they think they can win it. Austria is the biggest issue there. And Flanders is under attack. Yeah, of course. Everybody goes straight for us. Um, let's put in... 3-5-3. Three, three. Repont's not involved. This is only farmlands. Wait another month to get morale up to full. Which isn't very high. Oh, god damn it. See these sneaky bastards just walk out of the fog. Alright, get out of here on the 5th if you're still alive. This is just barely, but we can't control it. Go that way. Goes to Paris. Yeah, now France comes in. Too little, too late. Again, as always, France. Um, I think we just want to get over to Galicia. And he doesn't even have an army to attack Aragon. Right, we're not going over there. We're chilling in Normandy. As we lose sieges in a war that we have no interest in being in. Oh look, we've lost Flanders. Let's just go bankrupt. Alright, Russia's joined the Catholics. Yeah, we're definitely not going to go against them. So, um, can't do this unless we're at peace. But let's go ahead and declare this war. Take Porto Seguro. And it was Friesland's under attack. And we're getting screwed by Aragon. Nope. We actually win that battle. Uh, this one we definitely can't win though. 29th, and we'd already lost four ships. Uh, feel free to go home right now. Going to Picardy. I'll get kicked straight out back into the heavy fleet. And Austria. Uh, coming to kill our men. I think they'll find they don't have enough guys there. Wait till he's locked. There we go. Comes some Triarians. Hey, he's had cavalry. Um, artillery. Vermandar on the 29th. He's locked. Ah, crap. Austrians are there. Where the hell were they hiding? Seriously. God damn it. Well, there goes our army. Guess we don't have to pay for them anymore. Bastards. Oh, look, a three stack. Oh, no, there's 40,000 men hiding behind them. Conquer Armour. 
yes, we will totally achieve that. Barden has joined the cut. Yep, stop telling us. And some more loans about to come. Um, he has an army. So we can't do anything about this cost. France died. I'll definitely get that royal marriage back straight away. To trust tomorrow there. Just guess another to trust tomorrow. Our army's Alan totally strikes fear into the hearts of the enemy. They're not laughing at us at all. And our fleet just came under attack by these guys again, because as I said, they get kicked out. Just survive until the fourth. Yep, still can't actually control where they go. Well, that once they're in Holland, they'll be protected for a little while. All right, get over here. Um, we're going to want to take all of their land and money. Ottomans. What the hell are the Ottomans doing here? And Burgundy is slandering us. Alright, taking Cerro. I'm just going to sit in Porto Seguro. And just curious. Two people are slandering us. Do we lose 20%? Not just merchant slandered, only works once. Alright, uh, it'd be nice if we actually held some of our own land up there. Like France have heavies. Uh, we're not going to be able to go and help. Venice joined the Protestants and fine. Trade League of Venice has disbanded. A lot of Austrians sitting in there. And yeah, losing everything we have. Um, they're going to force us to um, give up stuff that we really don't want to give up. Alright, let's go ahead and just piece these little guys out. Something we can actually handle. Um, reduce war exhaustion and make the cause. Alright, well, this might end up being our country down here. England was discovered on 75. Denmark, Russia, Trebizond. Alright, England, we needed 90, I think. To slander his merchants? No, we need 70. Good. So, firstly, we're on 16%. Slander him. Don't know if this will update. Apparently not. And head back over here and kill them. Alright, that's handled. Now, these guys are rather ticked off. De Puyens in Ilias will be first. Let's go stand up there. And we're now strict. Extra discipline. Yeah, he's useful, but he's 69 years old. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. We're going to come back. We will continue losing land to everybody near us. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And hope to see you again soon. See you later. Oh, hang on. The election first. What do we want? Um, three five two or five four zero. It's making no difference to this at all. So nine or ten. Just go with the status. All right. See you soon.